If you have a Dometic AC that is not shutting off with the thermostat and only shutting off with the circuit breaker, you can either replace this whole panel right here or, or you can replace this relay right here. This is the issue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it real quick. Test the relay. If you take your multimeter and set it to um, testing continuity with the sound, go ahead and touch these two guys. You can hear it beeping. That means this relay is stuck open. Um, this is what controls the compressor on your air conditioner. You can either replace this whole entire board, which is about $60 to $80. You can replace the whole unit up there that's plug and play for about 150 to 200 or you can order this relay right here for about $6 from an electrical uh, supplier or you can even find it on Amazon for about $10, $11. So what you're going to do to replace this on the board, it's the same exact one, you can see here where we have... You can see right there the numbers match. Um, they are identical. So to replace this, as you can see I was tapping on it trying to get it to turn back on. This had been going on and off for maybe about three or four months. It would work sometimes, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, so if you look on the back here, it's going to be uh, this one, this one, this one and this one. These three, four contacts right here, you can desolder them. Um, desolder them, clean them up, and then you can go ahead and replace replace a new one. This is a desoldering kit. Basically, these are plungers. Um, that's what I'm going to use to suck up the solder once I've melted it. I just went ahead and bought a, a cheap soldering kit from Harbor Freight. I think it was maybe like $40. So I'm going to go ahead and bust this out real quick and get the AC working again. Just to jump back on here real quick, I'm not going to um, video the process of me desoldering this because I don't have someone to hold the camera for me and I don't have a phone uh, stand or anything. But before you take off the control board from the panel, go ahead and take a picture so you can see where all your contacts are at. Um, so you can put them back exactly as they were um, once you're done desoldering this. Shouldn't take more than 20, 30 minutes if it's your first time. Um, probably won't take even that long. But like I said, you just heat these guys up. Heat these four pins up right here. Um, heat the solder up on the control board. Oop. There we can see a little better. Heat the solder up on the control board use the plunger to suck it away and then as, as soon as you start to be able to lift that um, pin off the board that re relay then we're, go we're gonna be ready to put the new relay in make sure you put it in exactly as it was as you can see these are offset so on the pins here they're offset so it's not gonna allow you to put it in wrong so you've got that going for you um, but just make sure you don't apply too much heat to the board and start doing damage to the board. Just heat it up enough to actually melt the solder. Um, again, make sure you do this in a ventilated area so that way you're not inhaling the lead that's in the solder. Um, even the solder from Harbor Freight does have lead in it. So again, uh, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. I'm going to go ahead and this thing's a little dusty anyways. I'm going to desolder everything and then come back with the new relay in the board. So once you work your way around each of these pins, melt the solder off and then you use the plunger to go ahead and suck it out, the plunger, plunge it down, you stick it on there, you push the button, it sucks it out. Your um, relay will begin to loosen up and it'll come out just like that you take your new relay and you stick it back in the same holes and then go ahead and apply your solder 
and then we'll go ahead and put everything back up in the air conditioner and turn it on as we just slid the new new board right in there match the holes where the old one was sorry trying to do this with one hand a little difficult but let me pause this real as you can see slid it in the holes it fits in there real nice we can see the contact with the new pins the new pins in there we're just going to go ahead and heat them heat the area up just a little bit and we're going to drop our new solder in there okay i've got the, the pins soldered in i know i'm not the uh, it's not the prettiest soldering job i don't solder all the time this is actually my first time soldering on a circuit board so bear with me there there's always room for improvement and you never learn by not doing it so I'll go ahead and just do your best and uh, make sure all the contacts are connected um, our relay is nice and tight everything is done up so we'll go ahead and start uh, installing the board okay so when you're taking this board out there's these four little um, plastic clips that are into the circuit board in the corners these four right here um, an easy way to take them out is just grab a pair of needle nose. You grab a pair of needle nose and you just push this pin down right there, that little um, overhang. Push that in and then um, with the other hand, I can't do it with the phone in my hand, but with the other hand kind of pull the circuit board away from it and push it past that pin and then you'll be able to remove the whole circuit board. So we're just going to go ahead and finish uh, wiring this thing all back up. So now you see here, we got everything wired back in. Yes, it is a little dirty. I'm just gonna go ahead and put things back together, make sure everything's working accordingly, and then um, I'll go ahead and clean the air conditioner later. Um, now, when you do this, do make sure that you take out the corresponding um, fuses out of your, your uh, main panel, so that way you're not touching any wall live wires or anything together while you're taking them out accidentally. Um, on these blue wires up here, I did go ahead and since they're the same color, I went ahead and just uh, put some tape over one on the right and then you got the one on the left. Now remember when you do this, you're doing this at your own risk, but as you can see it wasn't really that hard and I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the case back on and then put it back up in the air conditioner and then we're going to fire everything up. So I'm back over here to the air conditioner, I just flipped on the um, let me shut this. Sorry, I just shut the fan off. So this is the air conditioner um, circuit, and I just went ahead and flipped this on after putting the um, fuse back in, and the air conditioner didn't turn on like it normally does with the thermostat being off. So we're over here with the thermostat. Thermostat is off. Fan is on auto. Thermostat's pushed all the way up panel and everything is put back in everything's plugged back in and we don't have any power onto the air conditioner so we're already ahead of the game that's exactly what we had before I would have to turn off the power to the the air conditioner with the circuit breaker that was the only way to turn it on and off when it was acting up and we can blame this little cheap six dollar relay and this is the problem this is what Dometic has you spending hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars to replace the whole panel along with the um, thermostat and if you just want to do the circuit board in there and you still have to undo everything that's going to cost anywhere from sixty to a hundred dollars by itself so you can go ahead and spend I think I spent uh, what sixty two dollars I want to say for the solder machine from Harbor Freight, um, the solder itself, and these little plungers. As you can see here, this is the solder that I sucked out with the plungers. Um, everything did fine. Um, like I said, this is my first time soldering anything, so we're going to go ahead and turn the thermostat on now. So, as you can see here, we've got the thermostat set all the way to 90. Oh, there we go. We're going to turn the AC on. We've got nothing. We're going to turn this down. And the AC is on. And it's functioning. We're blowing nice cold air out. And everything is working like it should. 
So we're gonna go ahead, come back over here. Check the speed. Still going on low. We're gonna go ahead and turn the system to off. And our air conditioner is off. So there you go, a $200, $150 to $200 to replace this box as well as the thermostat or $60 to $100 to replace just the circuit board on the inside or we could spend six bucks on that little relay and have a little uh, fun for the night and there you go, it's, uh, it's fixed.